What is up, Website Depot team? My name is Faraz, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to spread an article or a press release or a blog post throughout the internet so it's not just sitting over there and collecting dust. So what I'm teaching you right now, could, again, could be used for a blog, a press release, or just an article in general. And for this video, I'm gonna be using a Danny Starr article from Forbes. And as you can see, this article is right here. It's about home improvement. Uh, and if I don't do anything with this, if it's just posted on Forbes, it's just gonna sit there, collect us, and not get that, that much traction, you know? So my first step on this is to go ahead and read the article or the blog entry or the press release so I can get a good idea of what kind of content I'm working with and just, you know, have, have a better understanding of what the posting will look like and where it should go and what the hashtag should be, you know, what kind of research needs to be done. So once I'm done reading the article, I'm gonna go ahead and create a 1080 by 1080 graphic on Canva or Photoshop, whichever one's your preference. As you can see, everything looks really, really good. And this this is especially good because we have a Forbes logo. So, you know, once people see that, they're more inclined to want to click on it and read it because, you know, Forbes is known globally as, you know, a leader in this industry. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, grab, grab these logos, put it in there. And there you have it. You have a nice 1080 by 1080 post that looks really, really professional and really presentable and something that you're proud to share. And then you wanna go ahead and open up Hootsuite or Sendable or wherever your accounts are connected and go ahead and add the photo. And then you also wanna grab an excerpt from the article. I usually prefer the first paragraph, you know, go ahead and read the first paragraph again and see what kind of good information's on there and just use like a sentence or two or if you want go ahead and use the full paragraph but be aware on twitter there is a limit so you're gonna have to tone that down a little bit for that twitter account but for facebook instagram there's no limits use as much as you want but it's usually recommended to you know keep it keep it keep it small you know maybe two sentences max because you don't want to have like a whole essay while people are scrolling in their feed you know i, I think that's going to piss people off more than make them want to read the article so once you have all that done, go ahead and go to besthashtags.com, open it up, go and in the search section, type in the topic, whatever the article or the blog is about, and it'll give you a good list of hashtags. Go ahead and copy these hashtags and post it into the caption section or whatever thing you're using, either Hootsuite or Sendable. And there you guys have it. You guys have um, everything looking good. You have the image, you have a good caption, you have the good hashtags. Also add the link to the article or the blog entry into your caption. So once that's all there, go ahead and hit post and that's gonna send it to um, either all your other stuff like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and all that fun stuff. And also, you know, once those are posted, you gotta remember that Instagram stories and Facebook stories and the real stuff is all very, very important. So go ahead and go back to Canva and click over here and type in story. And as you can see, it gives you the perfect size option for Instagram stories. This is very, very helpful. So you don't have to go on Google, you know, the specific sizes. So go ahead and click that and just basically copy paste your original design elements from your 1080 by 1080 post. But then also use this section right here in elements and look up some, you know, fun, just moving GIFs, maybe some kind of cool motion graphics, some cool, uh, add some cool text animation because nothing is worse than clicking a story and just seeing a static image, you know, no one's gonna wanna click on your story again. So make sure it's very attractive looking. And once that's done, go ahead and download the MP4 file over here and go back to Facebook and Instagram and go ahead and post that on your story. So once all those things are done, the reels are there, the, the stories are there, the post is there, you have taken care of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. So your article or blog entry isn't officially now on five different networks instead of just sitting on the main Forbes website and collecting dust, you know? So we already lit the fire, so it's going crazy all over the place. So once those are done, I also, for this specific instance, I log into one of our internal properties, not just one of, but a couple of our internal properties. So for example, for this article, I can log into the Website Depot Instagram and go ahead and share Danny's story into the Website Depot story or the post into the story. And over here, you add a link to the article so people can just click it and go over there. So not only is this on all of Danny's channels, it's also on the Website Depot channel, which has thousands of followers. And then 
You can also use other appropriate internal accounts to go ahead and log in and share this story as much as you can. So it can be an, it can be seen by as many eyes as possible. So another thing that I do for Danny's Forbes posts is that I go and add it to the weekly newsletter that I make for Website Depot. So basically I just take the 1080 by 1080 post over here. I post the article title and I link it and then I post a, the first paragraph of the post, the article, and I add that over here with a little read more button at the bottom. And once that's in, I add the correct links and there you have it. There's my entry into the newsletter as well. So when I send this newsletter out, you know, a couple hundred people are, are also going to get to see and read Danny's new article. So once that's done, now you're in six different places on the internet, including hundreds of eyes and, you know, thousands of followers are seeing this. So you're definitely going to get a lot, a lot of traction over here. And if a Pinterest exists, that's also a great place to go ahead and uh, post this article. You can see, you can add an image here, add a link, add a caption, and just post it. So the more, the more you post, the merrier, you know, the more people are going to see it and the more traction you're going to get. Always remember, it doesn't hurt to post more and more and more. This is something I'm also improving on, you know, I'm learning and I'm getting better and better. And this is a great strategy for sometimes when you know, you know, when you run out of ideas for clients, social media posts, it's good to just be able to log in and do this so their accounts are always staying active and you're not just leaving it sitting there, you know. So yeah, there you guys have it. That's a solution to a problem right there where an article and blog is going to be sitting there. Either you could let it sit there or you could do something about it and make it work for the client. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay.